Alright, well welcome to another Shovel Knight stream, everybody. So, I'm getting annoyed with constantly being frustrated by challenge mode and showdown, so we're just gonna go straight to New Game Plus. Here we go. Alright. So... That is our clear data, so I think if we start a new file, if we choose Shovel Knight... Maybe not... How do we start New Game Plus again? Okay, this is not how we start New Game Plus. Body Swap! Oh, that's right! You can change the, like... <laughs> you can change Shovel Knight to be a girl if you want. I forgot about that. Okay, how do we start New Game Plus again? Oh, Game Plus is... Seven? What are you talking about? Oh, start New Game Plus. There, that is, the, the button I pressed was not seven, but all right. Would you like to be start New Game Plus? You will begin a more challenging quest, but retain your collected equipment. Oh yes. So this is the kind of difficulty I like. I like high difficulty if it rewards you for playing on it. That's why I like Kingdom Hearts 2 Critical Mode. It's like the best difficulty. It's super difficult, but it also gives you a lot of rewards for doing it and makes it more fun. Here we go. This cannot be undone. Create a copy of the save profile before proceed. Oh. Yeah, you know... Might as well. Oh, but we can only start New Game Plus from... Oh, wait, no. We're still in... Never mind. Okay, here we go. Start New Game Plus. Yes, I'm absolutely... Oh, you literally have to hold the button down to... I appreciate that they do this. They really don't want you to accidentally erase your folder. Here we go. Let's begin New Game Plus. Shovel Knight, Shovel of Hope. It's the same exact storyline. <laughs> so we can skip that. New Game Plus is, ba is more challenging, basically. Like, we're gonna take, I think, double damage. But we get to start with all of the equipment upgrades, so... The, f the beginning of the game should be really easy. Because we have all the health upgrades, so the extra, like, damage we take really doesn't even matter. So we should probably be able to finish New Game Plus in maybe even one stream. Especially if I don't care about getting all the treasure, which I really don't. So as you see, uh, we took a full dot of damage from this guy, as opposed to half a dot. Also, there are a lot more bombs that show up here. I have played every New Game Plus except for King Knights. I don't know what King Knights New Game Plus is going to look like. I do know, however, that Spectre Knight New Game Plus is not fun. I'm not looking forward to that one. It's an interesting idea, it just doesn't play very well. You also notice there are not really any checkpoints around. That's because in New Game Plus, pretty much all the checkpoints get removed. Generally, each level has, like, I think two checkpoints. Once at the halfway point and once at the boss. So there you go, there's our first checkpoint for the level. We're also having a hard time finding food. Give me the money. I actually don't... The only purpose for getting money in this run is to reach the 60,000 gold benchmark to get that one achievement. 
Which, I mean, hey, if we can get that, then great. But man, I am very hungry right now. Shovel Knight needs to eat. Or I guess I could drink the uh, Trouple out, uh, I cores. Yo, Mobius, what is up? How you doing tonight? We're playing Shovel Knight, but it's harder, but we start with all our equipment, so it's easier. Yep, no turkey for us. We just get bombs. Hey, Black Knight. Okay, I really do need to keep an eye on my HP. Okay. When that happens... I core time. Wait, I died? Wait, what? How did he deal that much damage? I had like six dots of HP left. Oh great, and now I can't actually reach the bags of gold without pogoing on his head. Did he seriously do two dots of damage to me with a single attack? Because I swear I had enough HP to survive. There we go. Take that, Black Knight. Unfortunately, we can't change our armor until we go to the armor outpost. That's kind of annoying. Oh, yay! I forgot! We get to fall asleep at the campfires. <laughs> that, because that's the one I remembered. Oh, wait a second. I have Propeller Dagger and Mana. Oh, we can just skip the dream sequences. Cool. Or at least we could skip that one. We don't even need to go to town. Oh, no, I guess we do. There, now we went to town. Off to fight, King Knight. After all those stunts he pulled in his own story, it'll be satisfying to bring him down again. Do -do -do -do. So much for the shortcut. I also need to make sure I keep my travel eye cores up to date. Because those will become a lot more important in New Game Plus. Just like the decrees will become more important, I'm sure, in the King Knight New Game Plus. Ha ha! Hey, Nintendo Addict. Uh, so it's it's mainly double damage and fewer checkpoints. I think that's the only thing that makes Shovel Knight New Game Plus harder. Which I think is kind of a fair trade, considering we start with all of our equipment. Boo-hoo-hoo-hoo. This also means we can avoid having to get any of the extra stuff in the levels. It's very risky breaking the checkpoints in New Game Plus, but it is King Knight stage, so I'm not super worried about it.
Oh yeah, there's also way more bombs. And way fewer uh, Thanksgiving turkeys. I guess one thing is there is an achievement for breaking every checkpoint in the game, and I'm not sure if you can do it on New Game Plus, because it would be easier to do it on New Game Plus compared to Red. Well, actually, no, it wouldn't. Never mind, there's no point in breaking the checkpoints. Hot shot shaw. Oh, there's also the achievement for having a bunch of money in your hand all at once. Probably should have just used the phase locket to get through that. Whoops. Alright, let's see if we can beat King Knight no damage. Yes, we did. Feet accomplished on a diet. I guess because we didn't need any food on this level? But we also beat Keen Knight without taking damage, so... Oh well. Oh yeah, the Shovel Knight OST is amazing. For sure. As you can see, we're yeah, we're already done with the first level. Off to the Lich Yard. It's shoveling time. I love it when they said it's shoveling time and then Shovel Knight proceeded to shovel everywhere. Truly one of the moments of all time. Ha-ha! <laughs> I've learned the secret to attacking fast with Shovel Knight. You've gotta, like, jump rapidly and swing that way. And I don't really know why, but you can definitely shovel more rapidly if you do it while jumping. And I definitely like having the propeller dagger early. Aha! Yay, checkpoint! Boo! Bomb! <laughs> I have found that to be the case for more than just pizza as well. I also ended up cooking my pie at a lower temperature initially than it was supposed to, so we'll see how that trades. That was dumb of me. Thankfully, we had already hit the checkpoint. It's weird how that platform didn't move until I started standing on it, but then when I got off it, it still moved. There we go. That's how it's supposed to go. Let's see if we can get the frog to... Nope, never mind. I'm not dealing with that. A 
bet both of those dinner plates have bombs in them. Not even gonna bother with it. Man, this game is a lot faster when you don't go out of your way to get all the treasure. I only go out of my way to get some of the treasure. The stuff that's quick. It's rare that food is better in a microwave than cooked in an oven, but it does happen sometimes. I like that, uh... I don't need money that much in this playthrough, but I would like to get the achievement for getting a bunch of money all at once. I thought I missed the platform for a second there. So wet sections make me very paranoid. I'm just gonna preemptively drink this. And I think with the uh, propeller dagger we can have an easier time with this. New Game Plus lets you get achievements. Alright, time for my least favorite fight. I just did him no damage! Woohoo! <laughs> I didn't even need to drink the uh, I Core of Regeneration. Get wrecked, Spectre Knight. <laughs> I mean, there are definitely similarities to this in Cuphead. For example, I like both games. Oh, yes! Oh, apparently, no. Maybe I already got that achievement in my first playthrough. Maybe I did it when I went up against one of the knights, because some of the knights are very easy. Oh, and if we have to do the dream sequences, they're easier now that we have the Warhorn. I'll catch you! That's... that is fair. That is fair. Wow, we're already done with the first section! <laughs> if we finish early, we can do more challenges. Alright, time for my favorite course! I do love everything related to Plague Knight. I'll just let the little rats be, unless they're right in my way. It looks like meat's back on the menu! Oh hey, a carrot! I said Plague Knight, not the Plague. Might as well- <laughs> I don't see why we can't grab a little acquired cash while we're at it. Thank goodness those aren't instant dev spikes. I didn't store stock up on any I core of rejuvenation. Things just got a lot more dangerous. 
Ooh, this is... Yeah. I literally was going to stock up on... Never mind. I guess I could go fishing and hope I catch an Icor. That's good. And this is why our uh, New Game Plus gets a little annoying. Because that's a lot of progress we got to go to. A lot of progress we got to repeat. My middle name is not Danger. Hospital wouldn't allow it. Colorful Danger Art? That doesn't even sound good. Also, Colorful is not my first name. It's an adjective describing me. Even though I have had Twitch streamers call me Colorful as my first... I'm like... That, do know that's not my name. Like, use some common sense. But then I remembered I'm talking to Twitch streamers who don't have common sense. I mean, uh... Wait. I've made an executive decision. I'm going to use the face locket at this part. Because phase locket is kind of OP. Well, Artie could be my real name. Maybe I told you all it wasn't so that it would throw you off the scent. Ex ex what? How did I fall there? I don't agree with that. Out of my way, raddies. Actually, wait, I think... I think this actually has a tropical guy here. Nope, just a money fish. Let me eat that carrot. That's not good. I just lost a lot of money there. Or did I? This way I can actually stock up on the I-Cores. Like I was supposed to. Hey, bro! Why would you want anything other than this one? It's like, it is the best Icor. I didn't actually lose, like, 10,000 gold. It was just an illusion. Now we start the level for real. Alright. 
That's a little too close, Mr. Rat. Uh, excuse me. It's interesting how this is supposed to be the first level of the second area when it's, like, easily one of the trickier levels. Like, I... This level might be harder than Tinker Knight's Clock Tower. Possibly. Okay, those guys are hard to get past without taking damage. Honestly, the birds are the most annoying part of this level. Also, once you hit the propeller dagger, that pe that music sheet is just free. Oh boy, it's this guy. Still drops a bomb for me. I think tur I think every turkey in the game got replaced with a bomb. Wow, that guy has a lot of health. I hit him with two charge hits. stupid robo-rabbits. That's what they look like. Hey, it's me! It's been so long since I've seen a turkey. I don't think so. Although this game did come out before Ultimate Chicken Horse. You know what? I do not want to die right before the boss, so let's just do that. Phase lock it for the boss, sounds good. Hi, friend.
toot that flute. <laughs> Good luck avoiding that one, Plague Knight. <laughs> it would be nice if the Warhorn dealt more than half a point of damage, though. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> exactly. Pixelbird 14, or 14, welcome to the stream. Yay, I can finally change my armor! Alright, we are getting the black armor, for sure. No, not the Baz. I don't want to fight Rees! Darn it. Well, we definitely learned from challenge mode that the Chaos Sphere is really good against Reeds. Ouch! Wow! He is powerful at low HP. Well, thanks for joining in, then. I very much appreciate it. Okay, well, now, now we have to take out Reeds. Thanks for the sub! I really appreciate it. Uh oh, do it! Get ah! Ha ha! There we go. That's that's much more how the Rees battle's supposed to go. <laughs> Chaos Sphere is just so good against him. Oh, he didn't give me as much money though, because I lost a lot of health. Gotta go and get more I cores. <laughs> I sense this will become a reoccurring theme if throughout the uh, New Game Plus run. Don't block my way! Thank you. Here we go, off to the Iron Whale. Okay, well, the Explodatorium took us a little behind in time-wise, but that's okay. Hopefully we finish New Game Plus in one stream. Oh, nope! Great, and now my money's in an irrecoverable location. I will not stand for this. He didn't drown. He just fell into the abyss. Let's not repeat that disaster. There we go. <laughs> Mobius, if somebody turned you into a newt, I would suggest seeing a doctor about that. I thought that would be an opportunity to dust knuckles, but we didn't even need that.
Wow, I forgot how fast you lose HP in New Game Plus. When you're as bad as I am. Yeehaw! Oh no. That's bad. I'm gonna equip the phase locket. But it is nice that you start with all your equipment. Like, if it was literally just a new game, but you took double damage with less checkpoints, I, that would be a terrible difficulty. <laughs> what do you mean the phase locket didn't give me enough horizontal distance? I beg to differ. Great, so we just wasted an I-Core for nothing. I don't agree with that. I think, I think the phase locket should have given me enough distance to get across. No, but mo most hard modes kind of stink. But if the, the hard mode, if it gives you some buffs and some nerfs, that's where it's really at its best. That was much cleaner. Twilight Princess had hero mode? No! Oh, oh. Thank goodness we didn't have to get through that room. That was almost real bad. Master Quest is really not that great. It pains me to say that as a hardcore Ocarina of Time fan, but it really just isn't that fun. And now I can't even grab my gold. Box on old glowy boy is real small. Everyone remembers the cows in Jabu Jabu's belly. I don't need to ride no stupid fizzles. Oh, that's a very small amount of HP. Why does the anchor fall so faster than I do? That is not how gravity works. Ah! 
I'm going for a phase locket for this fight. Hey, t hey, Treasure Knight. There we go. Easy peasy. Well, at least the boss is easy peasy. Treasure Knight's stage was actually kind of tricky. It's because of the fish. Uh, well, the game did a very bad job of teaching people that there's stuff hidden behind n normal looking walls. In fact, I think you'd have to be insane to think that there would be something hidden behind there. Ah, oh, man, if I want to get the I cores, I gotta go all the way. Nope. Once I get the shortcut, that'll be nice. I guess we'll just try to do Dirt Knight, Dirt Knight, Mole Knight stage without the I cores. Might have the easiest stage out of the three in this world? Possibly? It has these annoying uh, auto scores by the lava. But, like, the Explodatorium has more annoying enemies, and Treasure Knight stage has the uh, annoying mini boss. We could all learn a thing or two from Dirt Knight. That was dumb. I really should have used the phase locket. That bomb blew up more quickly than I expected it to. Darn it, I think I was right about to reach the checkpoint as well. <laughs> Down to the North Sea. Let's not let the burger out. That seems like a good idea. No, please let me out! I'll let you out if you agree not to attack me. Nope! The deal is unacceptable! I wish Shovel Knight had a cool special move he could do, like Plague Knight's dance. Spectre Knights turn away and gaze at this camera and King Knight's throne. Oh no, I, I wasn't right next to the checkpoint. I'm right next to the lava fish room, though. Oh great, my favorite combination of enemies. Don't pogo, and you'll be okay. There we go. 
go. Boing! There's also an achievement for doing one of the order stages without collecting any money. Which is one of those achievements that I actually kind of like, because it forces you to play the game differently. I like that. I don't like the achievements where it's just like, duh, you played through the normal part of the game. It's like, that's, okay, that's literally just part of the game, though. Achievements should be like doing cool extra things that you wouldn't normally do in the game. Like, maybe beat it at a hard difficulty. Or maybe, like, hey, can you beat Plague Knight only throwing the alchemy coin at him? Like, that would be an interesting achievement to do. Also, have we seriously not reached a checkpoint yet? Or did I reach one and I just lost my... Oh, no, no, we reached one. Okay, don't let the birder out if we can at all help it. We're gonna have to let the Dane birder out. Only one of them. There we go. Oh, look, a bomb. How did he damage me there? Oh. So close. Get out of here. <laughs> Boo! Get him out of here! You like it? Warhorn time. <laughs> Catch me, Shovel Knight. I forgot how, just how much money you can make during these dreams. Uh. Oh! I love how Shovel Knight makes real money in his fake dreams. How can... <laughs> is it possible to learn this power? I don't think it is. Alright. World free. Don't block my way. Thank you. I would love to take the shortcut. Thanks, not Percy. Do do do. Got to get more I cores. <laughs> Thank you, noble Trouple Cane. Thankfully, I do not have to change my armor all the time, because I'm very happy with the heavily plated armor. Do -do -do. Although, I guess I could do it right here if I wanted, but... I'd like to go back to the shortcut. I wanted to go back to the shortcut. You can leave the shortcut, but you can't go... That's unfortunate, so we're probably gonna have to fight the Baz then. Or this generic enemy. Nope, we can skip past them both. Hey, Polar Knight. It's shoveling time. Maybe this is the course where I can avoid picking up money.
Well, never mind. I didn't realize there was a dirt patch right there. It's occurred to me that this is not the best course to get no money on. Oh, one HP. <laughs> Man, he really wanted to kill me there. Oh, yes, the rainbow barf. Remember, if you barf rainbows, you probably need to lay off the Skittles. Ugh! Well, I guess this means we get to pick up the, uh, money we missed. Bye, doggies. <laughs> Bye, mischievous mole. <sighs> that was almost bad. Gotta be very careful, which means we're breaking out the phase locket. I'm gonna let that blow him up. Man, phase lock, it makes things so much easier. I gotta avoid a repeat of last time. Oh wow, he waited until it was right over me. Taste the track. Well, I got my money back. <laughs> yeah. Checkpoint? Man, they are trying so hard to kill me. I said to use phase locket, and it didn't let me. Okay, we're safe, we're safe. I almost just want to take an intentional death here. No, you know what? I will take an intentional death here, because I'm going to die at some point before I reach the next checkpoint. Might as well just make it right here. The 
that that's the, uh... I don't want to say the smart thing to do, but... In this very specific video game situation, it was. Oh, that's right. It's just easier to do it that way. How come he was able to hit me, but I wasn't able to hit him, even though I have a swainable shovel? Do, 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 do. At least the music's really good. Which is kind of a given, not just for Shovel Knight, but for pretty much any game that I play. Let's see if we can beat Polar Knight with this little HP. I think we could. Ah, yep. I love the face locket. I sure hope Spectre Knight won't miss it. <laughs> that locket is special to me. <laughs> yeah, but it can make me invincible. So I really don't care. Ooh, the money. Hey, Phantom Striker. Hey, Black Knight. Did I somehow reflect that back into myself? Nice to see Black Knight is not playing on New Game Plus. Bye bye! <laughs> I just realized, did I not use any I cores on the Polar Knight stage? I don't think I did. Let's go to Clockwork Tower instead, if we have the way open. <laughs> Out of my way! <laughs> Likewise, this is definitely the easiest out of the, uh, the third trio bubbles, even though I'm about to die. 
As much as I hate auto scores, they're not as difficult as what you face in uh, Tink or Propeller Knight or even Tink uh, Polar Knight stage. This is Tinker Knight stage. But. feel bad using that when I can't remember where the uh, checkpoint is, but... At least it's not in this room. No, it's in this one. Well, cool. Nice to know that I wasted my eye core yet again. Oh, it's the room that you can phase lock it through once you get to a certain part. Ow! It wouldn't let me get up there. Ratty saw to that. Alright, Radicus. Once again, it just, it would not let me up there. All right, well. Made it anyways. In your face! That's just gonna be a dinner plate bomb. I already know. Man, okay, I forgot how much HP the enemies in this level have. Gotta pierce through them. Great. I hate the missiles on this level. They can swoop out of nowhere and just be, you got hit, yoink. <laughs> Gotta get my workout in. Whoa, okay. Oh, no, you don't. You try to push me off the cliff. Alright. Guys, we're gonna try to do Polar Knight with one H Polar Knight. Tinker Knight with one HP. Well, we killed each other. Wait, oh my gosh, I lived! But he took my money bags from me. What the heck? <laughs> Apparently, it's nice to know if you defeat a boss and they defeat you at the same time, that it'll give you the win. That's actually very generous. Okay. I know I could just use the Trowel Icor, but... Uh, do I now have five bags of gold flying around? I don't. It took away my two bags of gold. Well, I'm just a little bit peeved about that.
Bye-bye. Throwing anchors are very nice against that second phase. Feed accomplished order of hoarders. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that achievement is for. Oh, is that the one for getting a bunch of money all at once? No, wait, hang on. I actually, I want to look that up. Feats. Order hoarders? Oh, have I? Oh, yeah, that was the one. Cool. All right. Let's go Propeller Knight. Let's see if we can avoid getting money on this level. Now that we've got all the money that we've needed. Let's also see if we can avoid swinging the shovel as much as we need. I'm not sure if shovel pogos count. Okay, no, I forgot that this level has just money hidden in so many different areas. Well, you guys know how much I just love Propeller Knight stage. <laughs> it's my favorite. So again, there's the one, there's a feat for swinging your shovel 20 times or fewer, and I don't know if shovel pogos count as swinging your shovel, but I don't think they do, so. I swear I pushed the jump button there. We also apparently don't do what Mario does and just run over the one block, uh, gaps. Let's also see if we can defeat Propeller Knight without using our shovel. We'll have to use fins like the Flare Rod and the Throwing Anchor, but I think it can be done. Long live the Phase Locket. Do, 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 do. I love how you can just run under that guy. Oh, that's right. I forgot. This fight will be annoying without swinging. Oh, well. There we go. At least we got some of our mana back for that. No checkpoint there? I really? I thought for sure this would be the checkpoint we would get. Is there only one checkpoint on this level? <laughs> like, thanks. Propeller dagger can be really hard to aim. Okay, there. Finally, we get our checkpoint. That's okay. We got the checkpoint. 
And we also don't need money anymore. Because thankfully, the benevolent Trouple King is like, you can have my I-Cores for free. I would love to be able to SEE MY CHARACTER! Oh boy. Auto scroller with backwards wind. I. What? How did. How? The wind was blowing me the opposite direction! And the winner for the worst stage in the game goes to. Propeller Knight by a landslide. Gosh, this level is so frustrating. I think I mentioned this level is pretty much all of the gimmicks I absolutely hate rolled up into one level. Shoot, should not have swum there. Eh, it's... Nope, 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 nope. Admittedly, the armor I picked is probably not very good for this level, but oh well. Too late to change it now. It's shocking to me how easy it is for the propeller dagger to not work. Like, I feel like it... Ex I feel like it... It inflates your hitbox, like, to twice the size when you use the propeller dagger, just so you bump stuff more. Wow, that is one precise jump. Also, I hate how these rats keep growing back. Also trying to preserve my mana because I know I'll be needing it later. No, 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 no. No, no. Doc gone. Wow! I forgot how precise that room is. Staggering over that because I am getting sick of this. Oh no. I'm not messing with that. Oh, and it's time for worst room. That was unnecessary. That rat. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. We can fight Propeller Knight now. Let's try it with the Flare Rod. Okay, Flare Rod doesn't work. How about Chaos Orb? 
He guards that as well. How about Dust Knuckles? That works. That actually works pretty well. Throwing anchor for this part, obviously. No, because this is Shovel Knight story. Okay, I guess we're using Dust Knuckles for the first phase. There was nothing blowing me in that direction. You've got to be kidding me! I did not move to the left, or to the right, in the slightest. Okay, well... Shoot, at that point, maybe we should just Propeller Dagger our way to victory. And this time, we don't have an I-Core anymore. Oh yeah, that's much better. I literally had... I... Cha, he ran out right at the end. Okay, Propeller Dagger is definitely the way to go, though. Wow. Propeller Dagger really wrecks him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh no, we ran out again! Oh, the throwing anchor, it takes more than the propeller dagger, that's why. Darn, we almost wrecked him, like, immediately, though. Now, was that for beating him without using my shovel, or was that for beating the sh stage using 20 or fewer shovel swings? Because I apparently only got one. But man, okay. Propeller Knight with Propeller Dagger is a really fun fight. <laughs> Aha! You're gonna have to be more specific. You fight everything in Olympus Coliseum. And there we go. Flying machine done. Well, I guess this will be a longer stream than usual. Okay. Hey! Okay. 
Dog on it. They're blocking the shortcut, too. But they're not blocking the armor outpost. I don't expect you to know the names of the Kingdom Hearts enemies, but just saying the flying one from Olympus Coliseum is not helpful in the slightest. It's like saying, oh, you know that creature from Mario, the one of the eyes? Again, not helping. Alright. We're also now on to second worst level. Or maybe actually the... Which is worse, Propeller Knight stage or the Tower of Fate ascent? Or the Tower of Fate entrance? They're both pretty bad. Excuse me? How in the world did I fall? Are you kidding me? They're really gonna force me to fight Phantom Striker? No, I'm getting my money back. I jumped over the gap. Now move out of my way. Th All right, cool. We don't need the money. We can just go straight to the Tower of Fate entrance for another bad level. At least the level is good music. So much for Shovel Pogo. So not having a checkpoint at that part is going to make... Are you... I hate the propeller dagger at times! I swear it doubles the size of your hitbox to bonk veins. His weakness almost killed me. Yeah. 
It's kind of amazing that I like this armor, because it really does make it so that you just butter your shoes. I'm gonna take slow, but safe, I think. Yikes. I have been crushed by that many times. It's a dirty trick. Yay, checkpoint. Didn't really want to use phase locket right there, but I guess I guess that's that. I think I really just have to use phase locket to get for most of the rest of this. Cause I am dangerously low on health. Oh yay, this part. I love how the enemy moves backwards with you so you can't land on his head. And deals two, four damage for some reason. Thank you, Face Locket. Wow, the enemies here all deal four damage, which is crazy. I jumped, I, I jumped, I jumped, I freaking pushed the jump button. There we go, we get a little bit of patience. Alright, this screen is worse. Because there's that's this guy. I remember you. Oh my gosh! It almost didn't let me jump again. But here we are. All right. 
right. There we go. I hope I don't regret using one of my I-Cores there. Because we still got the boss rush and the freaking Enchantress. <laughs> Alright, but at this point, the worst levels are done. So, next level's no cakewalk, but it should be at least a little bit simpler. Until we get to the boss rush. But the boss rush is at least fun. Tower of Fate Ascent. Here we go. Oh, the boss rush is also going to be more difficult because they don't give you turkeys in between them anymore. I was totally expecting the freaking propeller dagger to not work. To bonk. Hutshaw! I was putting bombs on all my dinner plates. As a lover of food, this hurts me greatly. Oh no. How does he deal four damage? He is a robed guy with a freaking electric fan. He should not deal much damage at all. That room is, like, freaking impossible to do no damage. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay. Move back a little bit. I want to go fishing. Yes. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm going to use that right away. 
which is risky since there's the opportunity for instant death, but I really don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, and then there's this part. But with the phase locket, we might have a chance. Please, no. Gosh freaking darn it! Why do auto scrollers exist? Why do I get killed by the screen? It's not even a thing in the Shovel Knight universe. It's a bad type of obstacle. Back here, we have less HP, but whatever. There aren't a whole lot of enemies in this room. It's mostly just oh the no the screen crushes you because reasons. Actually, because n literally no reason. Because we wanted to homage classic platformer games with bad gimmicks that people hate. Like, right there, there's no possible way you could know that was going to drop on you. Because for some reason you can't go beyond the screen, but also if you don't go beyond the screen you die. Basically, long story short, auto scores are fundamentally awful, and if you're making a platforming game, do not put them in. Sincerely, everybody. Triple bomb, yay. Alright. Order rematches, let's see what we're what's up. Polar Knight first. Well, he's always one of the first three. That's fine. I kinda wanted that to happen just so I could have full HP. Oh, shoot! Oh, cool. Start with the hard one. <laughs> I 
Spectre Knight might be my least favorite order member, but Plague Knight is definitely the most difficult. Because he's just such a little spaz. Oh, great! Sure, put all- put the two hardest bosses right at the beginning. Back to back with no healing between- yeah, that's- that's totally fair. Alright, Polar Knight. Well, shoot. You also don't get mana refills very often in this fight, so you've really got to preserve your relics. I don't like how Polar Knight can just insta-kill you. That's kind of... not great. But at least, thankfully, the developers realized, hey, that's kind of not great, so they made it so that you, one of the first free fights will always be Polar Knight. So it's not like, oh, you fought Polar Knight at the very end after all the others, and he just insta-killed you. Treasure Knight is easy. And from water to ice, here we go. There we go. That was worth using some phase lockets for, because I think maybe we get a turkey now? Yes, we do. I love how the mobile gear just insta-kills Tinker Knight. <laughs> Actually, wait, I should not be using throwing anchors here. I'm trying to keep a very close eye on my health. Bye-bye. Tinker Knight, definitely one of the easier of the fights. Oh, hey, Kane Knight. King Knight, what happened to you? In your story, you were way tougher than this. Dethroned. Oh no. 
Yep, every time you die, you have to fight all the bosses again. It's a boss rush, after all. I'm actually leaving the dinner plate online. Because I believe this one also has... I think every two fights gives you a turkey. Alright. Beautiful. And that way I was able to do most of this fight. Take some damage. Why is this guy so doggone hard to hit, though? Bye! Oh, great. Yes! Au revoir. Why didn't it open the dinner plate? Ugh. Oh, that's right. If you pogo the dinner plate, for some reason it doesn't open. But only when you pogo. Scoopa. I think the confetti can still damage you in the next fight, though, so we gotta watch out for that. I like how you can damage them with the bombs in the dinner plates, though. That's nice. I was mashing the face locket button. Or not button. For some reason, there is no button that uses the face lock. You have to just hold up and press the shovel button. Even though you can do a push of the button in every single ever story for the same stuff. Thank you, Phase Locker. I believe this is the only point in New Game Plus where the turkeys actually appear. But <laughs> I love how he like always dies when the trumpets blow the confetti. Feet accomplished Sparker. Uh, I don't know what that was for, but I'll take it. <laughs> that was cinematic. 
Alright, this is another fight where I'm gonna preserve the dinner plate. I thought I had at least six points of health left. Or three of the dots, so six health. But apparently, no. I swear I had three full dots! Alright, so long, Treasure Knight. Oh, great. Spectre Knight. I hate the Spectre Knight fight. He just always either moves away from you or teleports away from you, and then just throws his scythe at you. It's so annoying and not fun. Cinematic. All right. This part we don't need relics for. Part right, we don't even get knocked down to the ground again. Tinker Tank! Alright, Mole Knight. How did he dim? How? Like, literally how? I'm not sure how I lived through that, because I swear I had only one dot of HP, but then I got more somehow. Get out of there. <laughs> Plague Knight's like, you call those bombs? <laughs> I am glad we don't have to deal with Plague Knight and Spectre Knight in the same duo. Okay.
darn it. Ugh. If you're a low on health in the Plague Knight fight, you're kind of done. Because Plague Knight can just spaz out. And then chuck a bunch of bombs, and then boom, you're you're done. We're gonna be streaming this till 11, aren't we? Great! I hate, I hate Spectre Knight a lot. Like, there doesn't seem to be any fast way of dealing with Spectre Knight shenanigans. Because, like, no matter what you do, he'll, he'll just go away. Also, I pogoed him. Thank goodness. Okay. Now just don't kill me immediately. Great, he might kill me immediately. Never mind, thank goodness. It must hurt getting hit in the head with a shovel. Like, we make fun of the shovel being a weapon, but no, like, that would be a very, very dangerous blunt object. See, this is where I really would have liked to go against Plague Knight. I hope we go up against Plague Knight next. And you know what? I, I'll deal with this as well. Okay, well, that's not very nice. Wait, what? Where did my HP... I swear my HP is warping around. I entered that fight with, like, six or seven full dots, and I only got hit twice. Well, I get hit way more in that fight than I should have. I should probably just use my freaking I-Core in this boss rush, but I'm really... No, you know what? I'm I'm, I'm using the I-Core in the boss rush. I was like, oh, well, I should probably save it for Enchantress. Nope, not saving it for Enchantress, because Enchantress can just push you off a cliff. It doesn't matter what your HP is, so... I don't think I fell off. Let me guess, Spectre Knight? Oh, thank goodness. Why is King Knight dealing so much damage? Are you for real? He is literally in front of you in shovel range. Are you serious? How was he not taking damage from that shovel? And I was moving towards it. Gosh, I... Ugh.
Alright. Can you give me Spectre Knight or Plague Knight next? Or Polar Knight? I hate getting two easy bosses back to back. It's a waste of turkey. Off with your head. Okay, cool. Polar Knight. Worth it. It's worth burning a bunch of uh, honor or whatever it's called for that. Specter Knight. Thank you. Okay. I was dreading facing Plague Knight next. Swing, swing, swing. Alright. I need to use the shovel charge more for Plague Knight. It's good. Yes! Okay. And we got 50 honor for this fight. Or 50 mana for this fight. There we go. Oh, poor Tinker Knight has to hold them all up. Give us a hand, Shovel Knight! You wouldn't leave us to hang here, would you? If King Knight was at the bottom of the stack, I would save everyone but him. <laughs> Don't don't rejoice just yet though. This next stage still sucks. Because it's the enchantress.
though. The Enchanter should be a lot easier on New Game Plus compared to the Challenge Mode. Please tell me the level still has a checkpoint. If the level doesn't have a checkpoint, that'll be obnoxious. And this part is just annoying enough. Alright. Level up! I think Propeller Dagger is probably the best relic for this fight. Okay. That's not a good start. But this way, we get to start the fight with all our HP. We were missing one. I think I can really hit her when she's down there. I guess throwing anchor can, but I'm not wasting mana on that. I'll just wait for her to come back up, because since we're not on a time limit. Are you for real? How does that always freaking happen? And of course it wouldn't let me get out of the tunnel because Shovel Knight buttered his shoes yet again. get a health refill at the end of this fight. I swear she can read my mind. Anytime. I'm like, I'm gonna go down and actually pogo her. She's like, time to slow down so you miss it. Wow, that's interesting, but I sure don't care. Oh, how did that not hit her? I literally landed on top of her. Oh, look! Glitchy platforms! Well, at least I got a feed out of all this. Well, I mind, because I got work tomorrow.
I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she does it. She hits me, destroys all of the ground in my path, knocks me through that ground into a bottomless pit, and I can't do anything about it. Oh, I saw you do that. Die. Enchantress is, once again, keeping her role of worst boss in the game. Any boss where there's massive potential for instant death, especially if it's not really your fault, is a big no-no for me. Alright, here we go. Final Enchantress should be a lot easier than regular Enchantress. There we go, yeah, final boss is way easier than its first phase. Plot? What's that? God. Enchantress. I like how we can skip all the story scenes that we've seen before. <laughs> Definitely speeds fiends up. Feat accomplished. Again. Man, that's a lot of cutscenes at the end to skip. So if we go to feats, how many do we have left in Shovel Knight's story? We have finish any stage without taking damage, finish the game without dying, <laughs> finish the game without spending any money, guess that doesn't count for New Game Plus, finish the game without falling into a bottomless pit, destroy every che possible checkpoint, a lot of that can be stacked, defeat an enemy with the flare wand from more than 25 blocks away, that's weird, collect 2,000 morph of gold lying on spikes while using the phase locket, okay, destroy 5 enemies within 5 seconds using the chaos spheres, hang in the air for more than 4 seconds using the dust knuckles. Bounce the same alchemy coin five times in a row. Defeat five enemies with one throwing anchor. Or free enemies. Defeat free enemies using the propeller dagger without touching the ground. Run over five enemies using the same mobile gear. Beat the game without collecting any relics. Beat the game within an hour and 30 minutes. Okay. A lot of that can be stacked. We finished New Game Plus slower than I thought I would. I thought we could get it done in one hour and 30 minutes, but we could not. Alright, well that's going to do it for tonight's stream. I gotta end it there. Thanks for watching, everybody. I don't know what we'll be doing Wednesday. We could either do some of the extra Shovel Knight feats, or we could do Plague Knight, New Game Plus. I don't know. We'll figure it out then. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your night, and God bless.